One of the working warm-ups we like to use for our lifters before they squat is squatting with various stance widths. Now, everybody's got an optimal stance width for them based on their anatomy, based on what their goals are, but by trying wider stance squats, narrower stance squats, it helps you kind of settle on what's best for you. You can do these as normal squats. Sometimes we'll do them as box squats. I'll show them as box squats here, and one of the reasons why I like to do different stance widths to a box is because it really helps you appreciate how stance width affects how far backwards your hips need to move. So, if I'm setting up the box squat, and I'm aiming to use a wider stance, so wider than what I would normally do, this is gonna help me understand how to move my hips backwards more. So a wider stance, generally you're gonna push your hips back more, more of your hamstrings are gonna end up on the box as you squat, and that's gonna help you learn to keep that bar over your midfoot. On the other hand, if you end up narrower, perhaps with your toes more straight ahead, you're gonna learn that you cannot sit back as far, and if with a narrow stance you sit back too far, that bar is gonna end up behind your feet and it's not gonna to transfer to your regular squat. So if you're using box squats in conjunction with stance width changes, understand that a wider stance, you're gonna sit back more. Narrower stance, you're not gonna sit back.